Hello everyone. So this is the step by step guide that I promised you. So now just to start from the first step, I'm assuming that your game isn't working. So your multiplayer isn't working after trying everything else. So let's go to the step number one. I think if your game isn't working, first thing that you need to do is go and restore your licenses. So in order to do that, you need to go in your settings. Okay. And then you need to go in user and accounts. And once you are there, go to others and then there is the option to restore your licenses if you click yes on that uh, that says restore there are two options one is cancel the other one is restore you just click on restore it will take some time and it will restore your licenses once that's done go back to your game and have a look if your game is working then that has resolved the problem if it's not working let's move on to step number two so now um the step number two is because the restore licenses didn't work we need to go in the game okay so you need to go in your game installs and then you need to delete all the packs that you have downloaded and installed for example i've got a multiplayer pack too and i've got these two packs so my in my case my game is working uh, because i've downloaded all the multiplayer packs but sometimes you may have downloaded all of the packs and your game is still not working so in order to um, fix your game we need to restart everything we need to delete everything and reinstall everything so step by step delete this pack first of all you if you press x it's going to uninstall this pack then uninstall any other pack that you've installed so once you have uninstalled all of these packs individually we are going to move to the step number three and the step number three is going back and now is the time to delete your game okay so once you have deleted your game uh, once all of the game has been uninstalled now is the time to eject the disk okay take it out so now your cd is out now is the time to restart your playstation 5 or playstation 4 so when we restart it we're not going to go back in this menu we're going to go back in safe mode in order to go to the safe mode what you need to do is you need to connect your controller with a usb cable and then keep on pressing the PlayStation 5 or 4 power button when you're turning it on. You will hear a beep and then after the second beep, it will take you to the safe mode. So let me open my safe mode and show you what you need to do afterwards. So this is the safe mode menu that I was talking about. And once you are in the safe mode, you need to go for the option number five that says clear cache and rebuild database. Uh, once you click on that, it will give you two options. The option number one is clear system software cache. The second option is rebuild database. So you can go with both options. What I would suggest is rebuild the database. Even though you do a clear cache, it's not gonna delete every game. It's just gonna delete uh, some temporary files. But uh, because I'm saying we need to rebuild the database, so I'm gonna go with option number two. Once you go to that option, it will take some time. It, it may take like you know a few minutes to probably half an hour. Uh, and once that's done, your PlayStation will restart. So now my PlayStation database has been rebuilt. Now is the time to install the game. And uh, I've put the disk in and it's like, you know, my game is already installed, but what I'm telling you is install the game at this time. So that's the step number five. Once the game has been installed, you, you, you're gonna move to step number six and that is installing the essential update. So I think that update is around 98 GB or 90 GB. And uh, yeah, just just like, you know, keep your game on or off, it doesn't matter. But yeah, uh, it's gonna take some time once that update has been installed, restart the game. And then we're gonna move on to the step number seven. So the step number seven is go in the game. So at this time, uh, you will go in the game and your um, multiplayer will be suspended. So what you need to do is press R3 and you will go into the manage installation section. So here, what you need to, and this is very important bit, you don't need to install every pack. All you need to do is install multiplayer packs. Now, why I'm not giving you any name? Because some people, they say they, they see multiplayer pack two, some people see multiplayer pack one, some people see multiplayer pack three. So it may be different for everyone. What I will give you, so the main thing is, the hint is, download every pack that has the letter or that has the word multiplayer in it. So you, in my case, I have multiplayer pack two, I've got a multiplayer special ops, and I've got a multiplayer special ops compatibility pack two. 
I've downloaded all of them and this is something that you need to do. So download them step by step. So for example, download this pack. Once you click on it, it will take you to this screen and that is manage game content. And here you will be able to download that pack. So if you are on a PlayStation 4, you won't have this option. You will go to your add-ons, okay? And your add-ons is the place where you will find these packs. So this is a different bit for PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 users. But once you are here, you will download individual pack each time, okay? So for example, in my case, my multiplayer pack 2 is downloading. I will wait, I will keep my game on and let it download, okay? Once that has been downloaded, I'll start this, the other pack to download. I'll keep my game on in the background. Once that has been downloaded, I'll download the third pack. Don't worry if you have only two packs available. Don't worry if you have only one pack available. You just need to download the multiplayer pack and trust me, afterwards your game will start working. So I'm assuming that you have done everything that I've told you. I've downloaded all of the multiplayer packs. All you need to do is just close the game now if everything is installed and then restart the console and then go back and turn the game on. And by this point, if you have done everything with my step-by-step -step approach, you will, uh, you know, like your game will be working. Um, so I think, yeah, if you find this video helpful, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Please leave uh, your, like, you know, comments in the comment section and tell me how, like, you know, it went for you. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty much sure that this, this solution will work for you guys. Thank you. Bye.